Hello everyone. Hope of of you have a great weekend. Monday will be a holiday for US, so there's no stock market. Just want to give you a quick recap on the previous week, uh, ending January 15. US stock retreated from record highs on Monday, but you ended with a week low at 30,814.26 of Dow. A uh, Nasdaq also dropped 50.28 points, ending at 1298.50, and S&P 500 dropped 0.92%, ending 3768.25. On a weekly basis, S&P 500 slipped for the first time in three weeks. Yields, including for a 10-year Treasury note, retreated after surging 20 basis points in the previous week. Bitcoin is down 6.2% over the weekend, extending its 10.25% pledge from last week. WTI receded from the 10-month high amid strengthened dollar. The jobless initial claim as show was 965,000 compared to consensus of 795,000. Total of 18 million Americans received an employment benefit one way or the other. Job market is very slow with significant pay cut. The world has 95.3 million COVID-19 cases and 2.3 million passed away. In the U.S., cases have surged to 24,424,546. With death of 406,739. House has passed the impeachment on Trump last week because of political threat and destruction. Uh, Trump's were being trips were being sent to Washington to prepare. Biden unveiled Thursday plan for 1.9 trillion stimulus package that increased another round of direct payment of 1,400 per qualified person was not very well received from Wall Street along with poor retail sales causing sell off Friday. Retail sales fell by more than expected 0.7% in December, marking third straight month of losses. Yili Lili, symbol LLY, rose 11% after announcing that it's a experimental drug. Indo Corporation, symbol INTC, wildly over to $50 after confirming that Chief Executive Bob Swan could step down. GameStop broke as much as 93% high as the company bought member shakeup continued pulling investors. Financials were among the biggest decliners, led by a drop in banking stock after JP Morgan City Group and Wells Fargo report mixed quarterly result. Despite JP Morgan reporting fourth quarter result that topped the expectation and Silicon Wells Fargo beat earning expectations, share have declined 2%, 7%, 6% respectively. ExxonMobil symbol XOM fell 5% after the SEC reporting launch an investigation into how the oil major value a key asset in the oil rich Permian basin. Poshmark symbol POSH gave up some of its public debut gains but a day earlier, falling 19%, but still well above the IPO price. Shares of Taiwan Semiconductor Symbol TSM moved higher by 2.9% in P market trading after the company report Q4 result. Earning per share rose 32.88% over the past year to 0.97, which would estimate 0.94. Many of the green energy stocks were up earlier over the week but pulled back Friday. Three companies will be announcing quality earning Netflix index Lumberjay. The market will do a reality check uh, or probably on the following week. And uh, I hope that that with Biden going to be in the office in 20, if nothing happened uh, and it happened and it was smoothly, oh, um, it should hopefully the market will be going up celebrating his new administration. I mean, that's just my expectation, my well, speculation, not even expectation, speculation. And, um, you know, with, with the sell off Friday, typically Monday holiday, if over weekend or Asia market, Euro market do well on Monday, then hopefully Tuesday, U.S. market will also rebound, uh, rebound from the Friday low. So that's just my prediction. And um, I think right now it's good to try to keep up the stock with, um, you know, when the market is, is down. Um, particularly for some stock that drop 8 or 10%, it probably will be an opportunity to buy then um, if you believe those are fundamental strong stock or some stock that have a really good growth this year. Like green energy was very speculative because a lot of these earnings are negative, but you know, the trillion Biden plan on green energy give us some share up some hope. So if the market speculative traders selling off and 
the price go back to what it should be, it's probably a good time to buy some of them like BLNK symbol like FCLE fuel cell uh, or fuel fintech FTEK. Um, so think about those and also um, you know for for EV stock uh, NIO which have dropped quite a bit Friday and XPEV and LI those are really good choices and also maybe some people who are interested in Tesla the market the stock had dropped Friday will could be have a chance to buy back their their revised target as nine hundred dollars from from the bank um, that upgraded Tesla and also. Uh, I think FAANG, if you will pay attention, maybe Apple will will be continue to have some rally and with you know if they reporting earnings soon and fourth quarter earnings with the iPhone 12, uh, they may come in pretty well play. Um, so maybe it's okay. But the other one you can see that they're kind of slipping, especially Facebook driving a lot of challenges right now. So um, if you listen to my video that I talk about what is 2021 what good stuff to buy and my perspective about FAANG um, you know if you haven't watched it you may want to watch it hope all of you have a nice and wonderful weekend and give, leave me comments if you have any questions have a, have a nice day